Hello cheese skaters. Welcome back to my kitchen. I've just put the November meal plan up on the um, fridge so I thought before I let the treats at it I'd whip it down because it's been a couple of months since I did a meal plan with you on camera anyway and we'll quickly run over it. This is my magnetic meal plan that I've been using for ages now and I just love it because I could put the whole month up there and then everyone can just go to the fridge and look. They don't have to say, mom, what's for dinner, mom, what's for dinner, mom, what's for dinner. They can go to the fridge and look. And because it's whiteboard, if I switch things around, it's easy enough to just rub something out and put in what I'm changing over. And then I've got space up here to make a note of what I've taken off so that I can remember to use it. It's really handy. Now I've written November up here and in the notes, we've got two birthdays this month. This is the start of our birthday season in our household. So birthdays are noted for the 4th and the 23rd. They both have meals on them that will most likely be swapped around because in our house, the birthday person gets to choose the dinner and the dessert as part of their birthday. We started that when the kids were little because it was a treat for them then. In those days, they would choose McDonald's or Hungry Jack's or, or something like that because we never had it. Nowadays, they choose a roast or whatever their favorite meal is because, you know, it's special for them. So that's what I've done. It's all ready to go up on the fridge everything's written down and I have to say I'm really pleased that I've been able to go roast chicken, roast lamb, roast chicken, roast beef and know that I actually have legs of lamb in the freezer from the sale at Coles last week. No more sort of scrounging out and trying to fake um, lamb chops as roast lamb. It works. Lamb is lamb. And when it's sliced up off a leg, who knows? But I have been for the last couple of times we've had roast lamb because there hasn't been any. I've used lamb chops um, that have been in the freezer, cooked those up, had those with the roast veggies and the mint sauce and the gravy, and they were just as delicious as a leg of lamb. Anyway, so um, still Thursdays, pizza, 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 pizza. That's always a given in our house Thursday is pizza night and Thomas makes the pizzas he is the pizza king the rest of it's pretty ordinary um, tonight we've got tuna surprise which is one of my favorites and that will be featuring this week too in a video for um, the new two dollar dinner series that we're doing because times are tough and grocery bills are going up and food is costing more even just for the basics, it's costing a lot more. So while we have a good range of $2 dinners in our Cheapskates Club recipe file, and all you've got to do to access that is log into the um, website, just use your username and password to log in and go to recipe file, you'll find $2 dinners. I'm going to add more and I'm going to try and video them for you. Some of them are pretty simple and don't really need videoing. But it's fun to work in the kitchen. If I'm working in the kitchen and I can take you along for the ride, then I'm going to do it. Um, as usual, Tuesdays is pasta of some kind. Um, last night was chicken and broccoli pasta bake. There is no recipe. It's something I made up when I had a little bit of chicken and some broccoli. So... I tossed the chicken and the broccoli with some celery and some peas, corn, carrots, because that seems to be my staple frozen veg, peas, corn, carrots. Made up a white sauce, mixed it all together, cooked some noodles, put the noodles through it, put it in a greased baking dish, um, casserole dish, put it in the oven. Now I sprinkle my new breadcrumbs over the top. I mix those with just a little bit of Parmesan cheese and sprinkle those over the top to crisp up. Just adds a bit of texture, a bit of crunch to it. 
it's really easy it's very inexpensive it was it just takes the tiniest bit of chicken you don't need a lot and broccoli and broccoli was cheap last week so I was happy to use broccoli two dollars a kilo I was very happy to use it um other pasta dishes we've got spaghetti alfredo spaghetti and meatballs is Hannah's favorite baked mac and cheese is Tom's favorite and another spag bowl when I'm doing spag bowl I will do four times the recipe I will cook enough for four meals four different dinners we use one, I freeze three so that I don't have to make it. It only takes about five minutes longer and it means I'm not cooking pasta sauce uh, for a very long time. Four meals worth. Uh, what else do we have on here? Um, Saturday night's always easy. Toasties, tacos, loaded nachos, which may well, if we don't have um, corn chips, may well become loaded potatoes loaded whatever we've got um haystacks again if we don't have corn chips i might make pita chips for it or it will go the haystack mix will go over potatoes or it might just go in a tortilla for a wrap easy um, wednesdays schnitzels with tomato gravy and veggies i've shown you how to make my schnitzels so good enchiladas Chicken and salad, it's warming up. We're getting into salad season. Barbecue meatloaf and salad. Then we've got rissoles. Um, barbecue chicken wings. We love chicken wings. When I can get them, I used to be able to get them for $1.89. Then it went up to $1.99. Now it's $2.29. Some, some places I've seen them $3.99. That's just ridiculous. But if I can get them cheap enough, marinate them. And then barbecue them. They are delicious. That's so good with um, salad. Sausages and salad. We don't do sausages very often simply because I'm not a fan of them. AJ is not a fan of them. So if they're in something like curried sausages or sticky sausages, something like that, happy to eat them. But otherwise, they're a bit of a um, bit of a bland dinner. As far as I'm concerned, not really fond of them at all. Um, I do have on this coming Friday steak sandwiches because that is a birthday night. That may well be a birthday request. Then we've got barbecue and salad and I've left it generic for whatever meat we've got or whatever rissoles we've got or what if I have to make quick rice patties or cream cheese patties, then I will and we'll have it with salad fish wedges and coleslaw and meat pie and veggies that's our menu for november as i said warming up so there's lots of salad featuring and it could be a simple green salad and i call it a green salad but it's really multicolored and it'll be lettuce and cucumber and capsicums and onion and corn kernels and whatever i've got veggies that can go into a salad with tiny tomatoes baby beets whatever i just toss it all together and put it on the plate drizzle with uh, with some balsamic dressing it's really good or it could be potato salad coleslaw pasta salad our standards with lettuce and pineapple a full-blown salad depends really on what the um main part of the dinner is going to be anyway that's our meal plan for november as it stands today <laughs> it could change and that's okay because we have an ingredients based pantry and that means we've got options so if I have to swap it around I will swap it around it's easy enough to do and because I've got the space up here to write um, any swaps that I make nothing gets wasted nothing goes to waste nothing gets thrown out composted whatever it all gets used and in this day and age that is really really important for our grocery budgets i don't know what else i can say about this <laughs> about our november video other than um members can log in and download it for the month of november and they have access to the entire meal plan library which goes back years and years and years 
over 10 years worth of meal plans. And of course, it is in our free weekly newsletter every Thursday. If you're not a subscriber to our newsletter, there is a link below me here. Um, click on it, subscribe to our free weekly newsletter. It doesn't cost you anything and it's full of bright ideas that are going to save you money, time and energy. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, please do yourself and me a favour and click that subscribe button, then click the little bell to be notified every time we have a new video go up. It will save you worrying about missing out in the video and it means that you are amongst the first in the world to see them when they go live. And of course, a thumbs up or liking this video, that really helps. That really does. That Just that one little click of thumbs up really helps our channel grow. And the other thing that helps our channel grow and helps your friends and family is the share button. If you know someone who might like video or you might like to know about how to live life debt free cash up and laughing click that share button and send them the link if you've got any questions or you have any comments or you have a great recipe idea or a great two dollar dinner idea please please pop it in the um, comments below me I read all the comments and I do my best to answer all your questions sometimes I miss them because they don't quite stand out but if I see them, I do my best to answer them for you and I try to answer them quickly. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will be back very, very soon with another Cheapskates Club video showing you how to save money, time and energy.